everybody. Well, I hope you're having a fun week of learning. We thought we'd come up with an activity that you could do at home about our theme of the week, about Cinderella. And we've got a pretty creative and fun one in mind. So, what you're going to need is some paper, you're going to need some pens, some crayons, maybe some glue, any bits that you can find around your house. So, um, crafty things. So maybe you've got some sparkly jewels, some glitter, some sequins, some tinsel, some paper, some beads. Oh, what else can you think of? Ribbons. Some ribbons, that'd be great, yeah. Uh, cloth. Some, maybe some material, yeah, good idea. And what we're going to do is we're going to create our own Cinderella shoe. Now, I know you've given me a funny look there, Jack. Don't worry, if you're not a big Cinderella fan, you can design yourself your, your own kind of cool party shoe, maybe. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> In addition to that, you will need a pair of old shoes. Now, please don't go and get your best shoes out of the cupboard. Um, mums and dads might not be happy with what we do to them. So, so check with mums and dads um, that the shoes you've got, you can, uh, you can make a little bit more, more creative. Um, and what else? Oh, you might need some paint as well. So anything you've got lying around your house that you might like to add to your shoe design, bring it over and, um, and we'll create something special with it. So, first things uh, first. Go on, Jack. Uh, we've only got two shoes and there's three of us. Oh, we're going to have to fight over who gets to do their design. Me. <laughs> we'll see. I think I'll let you two have a shoe each. How about that? Yay! Okay. So, first things first, you need to draw out the shape of the shoe. Now, I decided to do a trainer shape because I know I've got a pair of old trainers that I can use. Um, but you might like to do a, a different shape. You might like your shoe to be a bit more like Cinderella's shoe. Um, but I thought we could have some fun with pumps. And I think it would have been a good idea if Cinderella put on some shoes since she had to run away so fast. So, we've gone with a trainer outline. Um, if you're not so sure about how to draw that shape, then you could always put your shoe that you're going to be using down flat on your paper and get a pen and draw around the outside. Um, that would be one way to do it. If not, if you have a look, it's quite, it's quite similar to, to an oval shape, isn't it? So, as long as you, you have a good go, um, about getting that shape right. Maybe mums and dads can help you a little bit with that one. And then I've just drawn on some details. So these little holes are where the laces usually are. Um, this is the front of my shoe and the back of the shoe. So once you've done that, you're ready to start designing. So before we get any paint or any sparkles or glitter anywhere near our real shoes, we're going to plan it out on our sheets first. So we need some ideas. How do you want your shoe to look? What do you want your shoe to be like? A Please. bit like Cinderella's except like a pump. Yeah. Maybe so with some sparkles on sparkles. it. Sparkles, yeah. What colours are you thinking of? Um, I don't know, kind of silvery and gold. Silvery and gold, um, maybe pinky colours and bluey colours. Yeah, what about you Jack? Any pink and blue and glitter on yours? No, 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 pink. no. What are you thinking for yours? What kind of things would you like on your party shoe? Uh, I was thinking like some gold balloons. Mm, some gold balloons, so you're going to draw some designs on it, are you? Uh, yeah, I was thinking to make it out of like gold balloon that way. Oh, you spotted some of my, my crafty bits there already. Yeah, that's great. Um, I think, I don't know, I think I might like a few rainbows on my shoe, maybe some stars. I'm definitely going to put some glitter on there. And maybe I've got this nice fur as well, so I might do that. So we're going to have a go at planning out our, our ideas onto our paper before we get started on our shoes. So I think for this, we'll just use our colourful pens and our crayons, and um, should we get going? Yeah. See so what we can create, right? Help yourself, don't be shy. Thanks. <laughs> um, hmm. I don't know what the colour the shoes most going to be. Well, what's your favourite colour? Well, why don't you try some pink out? The good thing about planning it out is that if something doesn't work so well or you don't like something, you can always change it on your real shoe. Don't forget, this is just for fun and we love being creative and messy in reception, so I think you'll enjoy this activity. Oh, what are those little dots there, Jack? Um, it's supposed to represent tinsel. Oh, very nice. Thought you weren't having any sparkles. Well, yeah, until I kind of decided that I want some party 
the shoes. Yeah, definitely. So then part of the is going to be good for dancing. Yeah, they're supposed to make me better at dancing. Yeah. I think we'll have to have a dance after to see if they work. Yay. <laughs> I'll probably be the best dancer. Probably. No, me. <laughs> Well, you haven't seen my dancing, have you, boys and girls? <laughs> so, how are you designs looking so far? Good, good. Pleased with them? Yeah. yeah. Cool. What cool. have you done, Cece? Do you want to show, show everybody? So, what have you got on yours? I've got a rainbow, a bit of pink colour, some stars and some sparkles and some little hearts. Lovely. And, and I think later on I'm going to do some unicorn horns. Some unicorn horns, of course. <laughs> I don't... I don't think a set of shoes would be complete without some unicorn horns. Great idea. Jack, what's yours like? Do you want to hold it up? Yours isn't, yours isn't quite as sparkly as, it, as ours, but go on. What, what's your idea? Um, this gold is tinsel. All right. Um, I'm going to have like a couple of balloons here with the gold string. Two balloons there. Um, my string that's for the shoes laces is going to be the green string we have. Lovely. And uh, this side is good and this is going to be green for all of most of it anyway. Cool, so you're nearly ready to get going? Uh, I'm also going to do paint splats near the bottom to put like some gold and glitter on yeah. and then I'm going to like just like do what you did with your... With my rainbow yeah. sign. Great, they, they look really cool coming together aren't they? Fantastic. How are your designs looking at home? Have you got some different ideas from ours? Can't wait to see them. My shoe design is definitely a fit for a princess, I think. I think Cinderella would love to wear these to the ball. Now I've done that, I'm going to get started on the real thing. This is the exciting part. Also the messy part. Uh, also the messy part, yeah. So I want my shoes to have rainbow power, a bit like you, like slide down rainbows. Sparkles for the, for the spectacular ball um, with all the beautiful dresses. Um, stars because we know um, we know Cinderella went to the ball at night, so that's why my stars are there. And pink because I think she'd quite like her some pink splashes and all these glittery sequins up the side. So I'm really excited to make these for you. Here are our finished designs. So we've got our rainbow paint ready. Who's brave enough to fit, put this first splodge on the shoe? Me. Go on, let's get started. Go on, Cece, you going for pink? Oh, yeah. Go on. Oh. It's very pink. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I bet Cinderella's never seen any shoes quite like these before. <laughs> I don't think Cinderella's seen a few pumps before. No, 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 you don't often see princesses in pumps. This is where we're up to so far. We have a lovely pink front to our shoe and a lovely purple back. And um, what's going on the sides next, Cece? Um, I don't know, some sparkles. Some sparkles. And sparkles and sequins, definitely. It looks good. Jack, what about you? Let's have a look at yours. Ooh, we've got a lovely rainbow coming along there. That's great. Not a bad start at all. In fact, I'm just sorry they're a bit old and battered. I'd love to wear these out. What do you think? Would I look good in them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Whoa>. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> it's got fur on the side. <laughs> That's incredible. What about your CC? You pleased with it? Uh, yeah. What do we need? Mm. Need a few more sequins on the front. Yeah. Yeah, we always need more sequins. What's your next job, Jack? Uh, probably glitter. Probably glitter. Oh, it's getting messy by the minute. We started off nice and tidy. It didn't take long for us to get messy. We did warn you that it would oh, get messy. I know, I warned myself and I still did it. Oh dear, never learn, do I? Okay. So, what's left to do on yours, Cece? What do we need? Are you happy with the design so far? Oh, yeah. We've got lovely gems on the sole of the shoe. Um, got some a nice furry bit, <laughs> lovely, perfect. It's very pink and very purple and very sparkly too. What more could you possibly want? Is there any more to do? Yeah. What do we need to do? Get the golden laces. 
Oh, we need some golden laces. Yes, we need more gold in it for a princess. Do you want me to help you with that? Yeah. Okay. Will that string do? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. Are you busy there, Jack? <laughs> yeah, I think I think we're going to have some washing to do tonight, aren't we? <laughs> Don't you mean you are going to have some washing yeah, to do? Yeah, me. <laughs> it was your idea, not ours. I know. Well, we've enjoyed it, haven't we? Yeah. Have you enjoyed it at home? Are you having fun? Can't wait to see all your designs. Is it trickier than you thought it would be, or is it easier? What do you think? Trickier. Trickier. Uh, easier. More or less the same. More or less the same. Does your design look like your... Oh, you need a repair. There we go. No, it never happened. <laughs> Does your design look like your shoe? Well, it does a bit. A little bit, yeah. We, we kept it a... That's your design. Can you hold it next to your shoe? Yep, so we've got the pink and we've got the glitter. Definitely got the Have glitter. Have not got the rainbow? Oh no, we didn't do the rainbow, did we? Mm, well, we might need to wait till it dries and then we can draw that rainbow on. All in tiny places. Yeah, well we found out that it was a bit tricky with the paintbrush to do them little detailed bits. So yeah. I think we can go back over with our felt tip pens at the end when it's dried and do them little nice details on that you want to put on. Can I on. wear this shoe after? Um, do you think it's your size? No. No, not quite. No, maybe one day, Cece. Maybe one when, you when I'm older, I might not fancy it because it's like got a lot of colours on. Yeah, you might change your taste, change your style. Yeah. Mm, well, if ever there's a party, maybe that's the time to bring them out again. <laughs> I think we've I think we've done a fabulous job here. Nearly there, waiting very patiently. Jack, how's yours coming on? Good. I well. only need to do the back. Yeah, should we show it here? There you go. So we've got some lovely fairy fairy edges, nice rainbow down the middle, bit of glitter on the front, and what's going on the back? What's left to um, do? I'm just gonna put some. Well, blue on the... I'm just going to paint it blue, then I'm going to put some gold on. Oh, that sounds cool. And so I'm also going to do green laces and the blues. Green laces and blue. So, yeah. nearly, very, very nearly there. I'm yeah. already there. So nearly. I feel there we go, should we tighten the nice bow? Yes, a very nice bow. How about that? Please with that? Yeah. <laughs> Shoe number one is done, apart from the little extra details, aren't they? Well <laughs> done, Cece. That's a fabulous design. I think definitely Cinderella would be very happy with that one. <laughs> Here we have another finished shoe. Do you want to talk us through it? What have you done? I've done a blue shoe, um, a rainbow tongue, yep. gold lace with the green curl, mm -hmm. two gems on the bottom and fur on the side. Oh, hang on a minute, I can't keep up with you. Oh, we've got, hang on Jack, you can move a bit off there. We've got one, two, three, four, um, five gems on the side. And, and what else, what do you think? Um, fur on the side. And fur on the side to keep you nice and warm. Wow, I wouldn't even recognise my shoes there. What a super job you've done. Now, how much do you think you'd have to pay to buy a pair of shoes like this in the shop? One million pounds. Probably a million pounds. What do you think, Jack? Mm. I think we could push up to two million. They're that fabulous, aren't they? I love those. And they've brought some colour back into back into our room, haven't they? Yeah. Have you enjoyed doing it? Yeah. 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 Have you had fun at home? I hope so. Time's tidy up now. Hope you enjoyed the activity and send us in pictures of your wonderful creations. Bye. Well, we're not going to tidy up Mum's. Cheeky. Jack and Cece did help tidy up before putting their shoes on and going to the ball.